Does it really matter to you that your unsaved loved ones are dying and we're getting closer and closer to the end? It, it, that, does it really concern you? Does it really matter to you that your unsaved loved ones are dying and they could die and go to hell? Even though you're a lover of Christ? Where's the anguish? Where are the tears? Where's the mourning? Where, where's the fasting? Let me ask you, is, is what I just said convicted you at all? Where's the getting up in the middle of the night? Where's the confessing of your sins and of your children confessing your children's sins before the Lord or your mate's sin before God because this is exactly what Nehemiah does. He confesses his sins and the sins of all the people. And then he says, we have sinned. I have sinned. And then he said, we have sinned. But the truth of the matter is, in all honesty, there are numbers among us that are changing and they don't know it. You've lost your fight. You see, when you, when you read the book of Joshua, it's almost a book of failure because they lost their heart. They lost the fight. No sign of anguish. No weeping. Not a word of prayer. It's all ruin. That's all the devil wants to do is get the fight out of you and kill it. So you won't labor in prayer anymore. You won't weep before God anymore. You can sit and watch television and your family go to hell. Let me ask you, is, is what I just said convicted you at all? A Christian can see more on his knees than he can from his feet. You can see more clearly on your knees than you can in the Tower of America's on your feet. Prayer is not getting God prepared to do your will. Prayer is getting you prepared to do God's will. Prayer is the only way to release the supernatural power of God in your life, in your marriage, in your business, to show you great and mighty things that you know not. Prayer is the key that unlocks the gates of heaven and closes the gates of hell. Prayer is the power that my 89-year-old mother has when she gets down on her arthritic knees and whispers the name Jesus. Every demon in Harris County down in Houston, Texas starts running for the Gulf of Mexico because the warrior is on her knees praying with absolute power. Prayer has the power to cure sickness and disease. Prayer can shatter the shackles of misery and habit that are tormenting your life or the life of your son or daughter or the life of your husband or wife. Prayer does not need proof. Prayer needs practice. Intellectuals are now jabbering that God and heaven are far removed and far away. God is as close as your next prayer. Prayer is the weapon that God has given his children to wage war in the heavenlies. Church of Jesus Christ, stop whining about the attacks on your life by the prince of darkness and put on the whole armor of God in Ephesians 6. Attack and then attack again 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 and crush him and drive him out of your life because Satan is a defeated foe. Christ has given you the keys of death, hell and the grave. You are a child of God and the royal blood of heaven is flowing in your veins. You are destined to be more than a conqueror through Christ. Think like it, act like it, and talk like it every day of your life. Give him praise and glory in the house. You're never going to outgrow warfare. You simply must learn to fight. I hear people saying to me all the time, oh, when is it going to get easier? When you die. 